and tanks for staying with us. Customs intercept live ammunition at the airport. Also on customs reports, customs surpass its revenue target in the first quarter of 2024. Plus, more report. I am Egisema Engineer. Stay tuned. The Nigerian Customs Service has continued to wage war against smugglers all over the country. The Customs Contract General made a statement in Abuja when he was speaking about the revenue target by the government given to customs. Bashir Adewale Adeniyi, MFR, is someone who is given to so much optimism. Not too long ago, he said emphatically that Nigerian Customs Service, NCS, under his watch, will rake in 5 trillion naira revenue in 2024. Few months down the line, he has already collected over 1.347 trillion naira in the first quarter of 2024. By dint of hard work and resilience, CGC Adeni has demonstrated that the service has the capacity to surmount obstacles and realize its objectives for a brighter future, irrespective of daunting challenges in the economic system. A whopping sum of 1.347 trillion naira realized by Adeni and his team in just three months is unprecedented in the history of Nigerian Customs Service. This is a clear indication that the 5 trillion naira revenue target is realizable. The customs boss, who announced the impressive performance during a press conference in Abuja, stressed that, in essence, the briefing underscored the persistent efforts to strengthen border enforcement, streamline trade, and foster economic advancement. Looking ahead with optimism, he says he remains assured that the NCS will maintain its position. In the first quarter, NCS demonstrated remarkable performance in revenue collection. Total revenue collected during this period amounted to 1 trillion naira, 347 billion, 675 million, 608,972.75 kobo. The collection for the first quarter represents a substantial increase of 122.35% when we compare it to the same period last year where we collected a total of 606 billion 119 million 935,146 naira. When we do a month by month analysis, it further illustrates our impressive growth trajectory. In January 2024, revenue collection surged by 95.6% when we compare it to what we recorded in January 2023. This upward trend continues until March and we are going to give you the real figures at the end of this briefing. Now, when we relate this to federal government's annual revenue target of 5.07 trillion for the NCS in 2024, the target translates to a monthly revenue target of 423 billion. We are pleased to report an average monthly revenue growth by 6.2% over the set monthly target and a cumulative revenue collection of 18.6% equivalent to 78,675,608,972.75 billion million over and above the target of 1.2 trillion for the first quarter. On the second mandate of uh, suppression of smuggling, we recorded a total of 572 seizures encompassing various items valued at 10 billion 593 million 99,654 kobo in duty paid value. Notably, the month of January witnessed 111 seizures amounting to 842.9 billion naira, while February marked the highest seizures numbers 
of 432 with a DPV of 3.7 billion Naira. As usual, rise constituted about 40% of the seizures, followed by petroleum products at 25%, with motor vehicles and textile according, uh, accounting for 9 and 6% of the seizures, respectively. During this same period, customs detained 22 suspects and appropriate legal measures are being taken in accordance with the Nigerian Customs Service Act 2023. The third major plan of our mandate in the first quarter is trade facilitation. Trade facilitation remains a central focus of our operations in the first quarter. Despite all the inherent challenges, we have diligently worked towards streamlining processes, minimizing bottlenecks, and optimizing efficiency across our ports to ensure seamless trade transactions. In the first quarter, customs processed a total of 311,492 single goods declarations for imports, which reflects the volume of import transactions handled. This figure, however, indicates a decrease compared to the total volume of 327,491 processed during the same period in 2023 and 403,233 processed in 2022. One of the ways in which we measure our efficiency in trade facilitation is the number of export transactions that we process. During this period, a total of 10,706 single goods declarations were processed in 2024 when we compared it to 9,752 transactions in 2023. This represents a 10.6% growth in exports activities. Notably, a significant portion of this growth occurred in January with 4,067 transactions processed in 2024 when we compared it to 3,352 in 2023, which uh, marks 29.69% increase. We are particularly interested in the growth of the non-oil ex uh, export sector, and aligning with the priorities of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's less administration and the initiative pursued by customs in recent times. On anti-smuggling operations in the first quarter of 2024, the service recorded a total of 572 seizures, giving more details on export trade the CGC said a total of 10,786 single goods declarations, SGDs, were processed in 2024 compared to 9,752 transactions in 2020, representing 10.60% growth in export activities. Notably, a significant portion of this growth occurred in January, with 4,067 transactions processed in 2024 compared to 3,352 SGDs in 2023, marking 29.69% increase. At the last CG conference, notably enshrined in the Lagos Continental Declaration document, which highlights our collective efforts and collaborations towards our shared goals. It is imperative to highlight the ongoing support of the government particularly in approving initiatives aimed at fulfilling the mandates of customs. Amongst these is the granting of a 90-day window to owners of uncustoms vehicles smuggled into Nigeria, facilitating the payment of appropriate duties on those vehicles into Nigeria. Members of the public are strongly advised to avail themselves of this opportunity to regularize their papers as customs will embark on a very serious operations at the expiration of 
the window period to arrest vehicles that have questionable papers. Additionally, government's decision to reopen the northern borders with Niger Republic holds significant importance. This action is expected to boost trading activities along those corridors, with potential smugglers now reconsidering the legitimacy of trading through approved routes this decision stands as a pivotal move. We are unequivocally committed to supporting the actualization of the eight-point agenda of Mr. President. This commitment is demonstrated through both direct and indirect contributions to key areas such as economic growth, improved security, upholding the rule of law, and fighting corruption. Noteworthy achievements include strengthening economic growth through optimal revenue collections to support government's allocations to vital sectors alongside the implementation of efficient trade facilitation measures. Our relentless enforcement officers, particularly those targeted at intercepting prohibited items, are important in enhancing national security. Moreover, we are steadfastly integrating technology across our operations to ensure transparency and accountability, addressing critical aspects of the eight-point agenda of Mr. President. Recently, NCS has prioritized food security in response to a presidential directive. This initiative is evidenced by the distribution of food items to vulnerable members of the society, commencing in Lagos and Kanu, and extending to other parts of the country to address very urgent societal needs. We reassure the public that transparency and accountability will remain paramount under my leadership, fostering trust and confidence in the service. In all of this, we are grappling with a number of challenges, and I'm going to share some with you. During the quarter, we encountered several systemic challenges that impeded our ability to fulfill our responsibility effectively. These challenges encompassed issues related to non-compliance with regulations, infrastructure limitations, and a notable decline in cargo throughput evidenced by a 4.89 decrease in the volume of transactions handled during this period. In addition to that, significant fluctuations in exchange rates applied in the customs clearance of consignments posed considerable difficulties to our operations. As per our protocol, the exchange rates utilized by customs in the clearance of goods via the Nigerian Integrated Customs Information System, NICES, is based on the rates as determined by the Central Bank of Nigeria. And in the last quarter, from January to March 2024, a total of 28 rates were directed by CBN, ranging from 951.94 per US dollar in January 2024 to a peak of 1,662.35 per dollar in February 2024. While a singular exchange rate of 951.9 was maintained in January, February witnessed 15 different spot rates, ranging from 951.9 to 1.662 uh, per dollar. In March, we, we, are, we witnessed a total of 13 different spot rates, ranging from 1.303.84 to 1.630.16. These fluctuations resulted in an average applied exchange rate of 1,314.0 per dollar in the clearance of goods during the entire quarter. The repercussions of these fluctuations have sent concerning signals to our stakeholders and it affected very seriously. In fact, you might say it's disrupted our activities. Beyond the speculation 
regarding potential gains that it may have on our revenue, the implications on the transaction volumes are significant and they far outweigh any possible benefits. These concerns are already manifesting in current activities with the potential for lagged effects in the coming months. Mindful of these implications on the trading public and the overall economy, the Nigeria Customs Service, with the support of the Honorable Minister of Finance, the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, has initiated periodic consultations with the Central Bank of Nigeria to mitigate the potential impact of exchange rate fluctuations on import activities. He noted that it is important to highlight that the reforms discussed are part of the President's ongoing efforts to enhance port operations. A recent development is the introduction of a single window system. Spearheaded by the Minister of Finance, President Bola Tinobo will soon inaugurate a steering committee with full implementation expected to commence by the second quarter of 2024. You are watching the program, Customs Report. The controller in charge of Zombie has continued to seize goods worth billions of Naira for smugglers operating in that axis. The controller also warned some importers and exporters operating in the north zone to follow the later rules on importation of items into the country. It speaks more on the seizures seized by the units in Kaduna. Vigilant in the fight against Magalin. And to say that within the period under review, we recorded a total of 98 seizures of 21 different items, which includes contraband foreign parboiled rice, used foreign shoes, petroleum products, vehicles, and means of conveyance, pastas, macaronis, among others. A particular note was the seizure of 372 bags of offensive rice that were intercepted by the operators of the unit and deposited at Quara Command. Our Eagle Eye officers and men are constantly responding to the ever newer changing tactics of smugglers who deploy ever new method in concealing smuggled rice in local flour sacks to disguise the smuggled rice as flour. It is also noteworthy that we combine effective intelligence network in combating and exposing these rice smugglers. I said earlier that we remain resolute and will not relent, and there is no amount of trick, blackmail, or orchestrated attacks that will dampen our resolve. I say to those diehard smugglers that sponsor mobs to attack our operatives and organize to state illegal demonstrations against us that they cannot and will not dis 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 discourage and deter us from carrying out our jobs. It is one of the two options. Either these smugglers turn a new leaf and embrace legitimate trade will have us to deal with and face the consequences. Gentlemen of the press, the summary of the items for the period under review are as follows. 698 bags of foreign parboiled rice, 50 kg each. 375 cartons of foreign spaghetti macaroni couscous. 136 bales of foreign scahan clothing. 715 jerry cans of premium motor separate. 25 liters each, PMS. 65 jerry cans of foreign refined vegetable oil, 25 liters each, Ororo. 12 units used vehicles. 4 units of means of conveyance. <coughs> 9 cartons chaka pain extra, 50 milligram. 425 and a half cartons of foreign milky creamer and milk powder. 136 pieces of foreign used tires and others. Other items include 14 bags of foreign tiger nuts, 151 cartons of unregistered alcoholic beverages, 
1,314 searches and 68 cartels of foreign butter, 40 expelled foreign general goods, 120 cartels of foreign ever soap, 170 bags of sodium salt per 25 kg each, 20 cartons of foreign dye powder, 600 bags of Sokoto cement used in concealing of items above O, P, and Q, 379 assorted general goods intercepted at the RAF for being improperly exported, 400 cartons of unregistered organic fertilizer. The total duty paid by LUDPB of these items. Seven hundred and sixty-nine million four hundred and sixty-five thousand nine hundred and seventy naira and forty-six kobo. The further pressure in this zone A has seized on max goods worth two point eight billion naira for smugglers operating in the western zone. The customs area controller said that the unit recovered three hundred and five million naira in the federation account, so that a total of twenty-one trucks load of rice was also intercepted by its men. He said that over 3,000 pieces of used tires, 330 bales of used clothing, and drugs were intercepted by the unit. He wants some Nigerians to avoid smuggling because it is a criminal offense against the state. Frozen poultry products, this is under import prohibition list. Whatever that is not good for our health, it behoves on our government to put it under ban. This is yet another drug that has no label, no date of manufacture, no date of expiry, no NAVDAC registration. It was intercepted inside a vehicle at Ijebode. The controller also said that citizens must avoid smuggling because its use only poses legal and safety risks, but also undermine the well-being of society as a whole. By complying with all relevant regulations and laws, Importers and traders can steer clear of costly fines and penalties that may arise as a consequence of non-compliance. It enhances a good reputation, demonstrates reliability and trustworthiness, ensures smooth customs and other statutory regulatory clearance procedures. This, in turn, reduces delays and potential disruptions in the supply chain Interestingly, compliant traders are eligible to access the services preferential treatment through preferential trade programs such as the fast track, the advanced ruling, and the authorized economic operators program. It is a program that allows all compliant economic operators involved in the international movement of goods to apply for AEO status while the focus is maintained on high-risk operators and the facilitation of legitimate trade. Seizures recorded in the first quarter of 2024 were due to violations of various sections of the Nigeria Customs Service Act 2023, the Federal Government Import and Export Prohibition Guidelines, while vigorously and relentlessly executing our antique smuggling campaign. A total of 206 seizures were made, worth the sum of duty paid value of 2 billion 877 million 49,777 naira 29 kobo. Suspects were arrested, 24 were released on administrative bail, while five are still in detention. Some of the seizures recorded within the first three months of the year, 2024, are 12,278 by 50 kg bags of foreign rice, equivalent to 21 trailer loads, 40 units of used vehicles, 286 cartons of rubber slippers, 1,220 cartons of foreign tomato paste, 2,705 kegs of premium motor spirit, 3,510 pieces of pneumatic used tires, 330 bales of used clothing, 2,230 kilograms of Indian hemp, 
1,569 cartons of foreign frozen poultry products, 365 cartons of unmarked drugs, 104 units of Hajo motorcycle, and 566 cartons of slippers. Revenue recovery made within the period under review was 305 million, 310,000, 10 naira 44 koko. This represents 67% collection of the 455 million, 222,073 naira 97 koko revenue target for the year 2024. Attack on officers. Just recently, officers of, the, of this unit were carrying out their legitimate duties. They were being shot at by some armed men suspected to be smugglers along Igbori village. Igbeti Ogomosho Road in Oyo State. Although some of the officers in the patrol team sustained injuries, but the assailants were repelled with superior firepower. Armed non-state actors should be aware of the legal consequences of their actions when caught. I think that smuggling can lead to compromised personal safety because it exposes individuals to various risks that include dealing with dangerous individuals. The Nigerian Customs Service has intercepted live ammunition and tomador drugs, including Duncan Scale, Gentiles, worth 5.7 billion naira at the airport. The Customs Area Controller said that the seizure of live ammunition was a joint examination with Safe Security Service and NDLA. He won travelers against the portion of drugs and other items not approved by government into the country. The command also made a revenue target of 45 billion naira in the first quarter of 2024. The Customs Area Controller said the command remains committed at ensuring it collects the much needed revenue for the Federation. He said that the revenue collected is to further ensure the safety and well-being of citizens through combating smuggling to the lowest standard in Nigeria. The location of this item is not uh, actually um, prohibited, but it requires a permit, a CITES permit. So, and since they don't have a permit, of course we have to intercept it, yes. Uh, even the owners did not know that they needed a permit, but on accosting we told them they needed a permit. Since they could not um, produce, definitely we have to arrest the item. Use the opportunity to appeal to traders at the airport to follow due process while bringing in consignment into the country. Us, in Nigerian Customs Service, Mutala Mohammed Airport Command, we remain resolute at ensuring that we collect the much needed revenue for federal government and also ensure the safety and well-being of citizenry through carbon smuggling to its barest minimum while facilitating legitimate trade and export trades. In terms of revenue generation, despite these challenges, Mutala Mohammed Airport Command has surpassed its record for the first quarter of 2024 when compared to what was collected the previous year. In the first quarter of 2023, the command collected 21 billion, 362 million, 752,676 naira and 44 kubu. While in the corresponding period of 2024, the command records 45 billion, 232 million, 483,528 naira and uh, zero kobo. This represents an appreciable increase of 23 billion, 869 million, 730,851 naira and 56 kobo, depicting an increase of 101.7%. In an area of anti-smuggling, similarly, Command has recorded an appreciable increase in its anti-smuggling drive, which led to the interception of 50 pieces of live MM life ammunition, which was jointly discovered in the examination with, um, with NDLA, that's National Drug Law Enforcement Agency officials. 
The number of first quarter seizures on the command includes 1,164 kg of sea cucumbers, 58 kilograms of donkey genitals, and 17 packages of tramadol. The cumulative duty paid value of the aforementioned items stood at 5 billion, 794 million, 99,000, 371,000 uh, naira and 119 kubo. According to critical stakeholders, she continued to fight against importation of uncustom goods into the country. Just for out of this week edition of the program custom support, we brought you a report where the contract job of customs continue to speak on revenue generation of the customs throughout the year. For me, it is a thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.